boy Sheldon Day. And we tapping in live from Phoenix, Arizona, Super Bowl house, Players Day off edition. Got my co-host Darnell Smith and talk about one of the most fiercest, hard hitting turnover machine linebackers dog. ever. A dog. I'm talking about when you talk about linebackers, you better put that boy name up there. Levante David, man. How you feeling, man? Feeling good, man. Feeling good. That was a great intro. I appreciate that. Come on. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Like, <laughs> I'm a fan. Yeah. Like, I, I fangirl off you. No, no, no. Like, no, they're like, they serious, bro. Like, yeah. <laughs> just watching you play, I'm like, yeah. man, I wish I, man. Tampa called me, man. Yeah. I'm, trying to, I'm trying to see what that is. <laughs> but, like, for real, like, yeah. just the way you play, yeah. your love for the game, you can tell by your yeah. play. Mm -hmm. Man, it's so dope just to watch you play, man. Appreciate just it, see you could. Continue to succeed, mm -hmm. man. Yeah. Super exciting, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate sure, it. Sure. And I want to kind of go straight to it, man. Talk about just the mindset of being yeah. like an NFL linebacker, bro. Mm. And like, I fight, like, you know, I used to play D tackle, yeah. you know, I was just a physical position, but yeah. linebacker, man, you flying left to right. There's so many responsibilities, and right. you, you got you to be like a, yeah. like a dog mentality yeah. almost to really, yeah. you know, have the confidence and the ability to go out yeah. there and play at a high level. Just yeah. talk about that mindset. Yeah, I mean, shoot, I've been blessed to play this position since I first started playing football for real. Mm -hmm. So I kind of like, Learned the position throughout my little league years, my high school years, and college, and now NFL. And uh, you know, I've been blessed to play the position. I've been blessed to play, uh, like, learn from a lot of different coaches, learn from a lot of different players. Mm -hmm. So um, the position, man, itself, man, uh, you basically, man, the quarterback of the defense. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And uh, you now I remember coming in my rookie year, and like the day before the game, I they got they stamped me with the green dot. I had to call the plays. <laughs> as a rookie uh, coming in. So it uh, definitely was a lot of pressure on me then, but you know, I feel like going through all that kind of like helped me mold me to the guy in the day as far as, you know, study habits, learning mm -hmm. the game, learning the position and stuff like that. So uh, it's definitely been a fun journey, man. And uh, I enjoy playing the position. Like I said, man, I remember a couple of years ago, they was kind of like down playing a linebacker position, you know, when they was bringing all these mm -hmm. safeties playing linebacker to be mm -hmm. able to cover the guys. But now, you know, I feel like guys like me and Devin kind of like Change the narrative back yep. to uh, what it's supposed to be. You got to have, you know, linebackers who be able to cover and run and hit. So it's definitely a different mentality, you right. know. So you got to be able to um, have out all the tools. You got to be able to run. You got to be hit. You be able to hit, and you got to be smart. It's mm. a lot. Yeah, it's a lot, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so you you said that green dot. I yeah. don't know if everybody know what that means <laughs> and what that pressure means and yeah, like yeah. the the responsibility of the green yeah, dot. Yeah, yeah. So just like kind of touch on that, and yeah. I'm like, I'm gonna go a little deeper with yeah. it too. So you all know about the quarterback having the green dot, getting the calls in and stuff like that. So on defense, the linebacker usually have it, the middle linebacker. So uh, when the the coordinator gives the call, you gotta be able to read the call to everybody. And the main people who do have a hard time with it is D linemen. You know, <laughs> you know, you gotta be able to make sure they get the call, make sure they're lined up right, and then you gotta give it to the secondary, make sure everybody's on the same page. And uh, as a linebacker, you know, once you get the call, you gotta relay it. But at the same time, you're working with everybody on the field, mm -hmm. so you gotta know what they, these guys in front of you are doing, and you gotta know what the back end doing. So it's a lot of pressure like that. So you, when you get the call, you try to relay it as quick as you can, just try to. You know, focus on your job and just try to, um, you know, lock in and be able to, um, you know, make uh, make the best of it those six seconds of play. So, you just ran 50 yards down the field. <laughs> yeah. And you get that call in. Mm -hmm. How do you how do you get your I guess your breath together to yeah, say the yeah. call? Let's say it's Okie 52. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. How do you, like the, walk through the mentality yeah. of that? Like, yeah. how you gotta suck it up and yeah. like I guess so. Like me personally, yeah. I can't play every single play like y'all. <laughs> yeah. Like, give me my couple little yeah, yeah, three yeah. run out. Yeah. Get a that D line, you definitely take yeah. plays off. Yeah. Like, yeah. just ways. I, yeah. Good pop and just kind of mm -hmm. chill. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, you yeah. ain't got to really run to the ball. But yeah. linebacker, you can't do it. Yeah, it's tough, man. It's tough. You got to because you got to play hard as a linebacker because mm -hmm. people are watching. You know what I'm saying? As a linebacker, mm -hmm. especially like the team, kind of like feed off your energy. Mm -hmm. So you definitely got to be well conditioned. You got to. It's a habit. You got to be able to practice throughout the week. You know, make sure everybody get the calls. You could shorten it a little bit. Make sure everybody on the same page. So mm -hmm. that's where that extra, you know, film study and all that extra stuff come in. That will meet with the guy like, hey. You know, there's some calls can be winded, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, when Man. I say this right here, this is what that mean. <laughs> say, you know what I'm saying? Like, give it just a color. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is, this is right <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And then, like, as you get older, though, it kind of, like, kind of, like, smooth out a little bit. You kind of, like, find your ways and how to, you know, keep your breath or whatever. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I'm going to give you a little secret. Talk about me in uh, uh, an instance. Like, my film study, my preparation helps me not use all that energy on the field for one play. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So, like, when I know there's a play coming, I know what I need to do to get over there and not waste all my energy so I could be able to come back to the to the play and just be able to, uh, you know, go keep on, keep my stamina going throughout the whole game. 
That's real, man. That's mm-hmm. real to lie. That the communication <laughs> stuff. I'm talking about. I run. Yeah. And he called. He, let's say Lamonte, my linebacker. He called the play. Hey, Lamonte, what you say? Yeah, like, yeah, I'm telling yeah, you, bro. I'm yeah, talking about just yeah, like that yeah, quick. He can say yeah, it five times. Yeah. And then like I get ready. Mm. What did he just call? Yeah. It's like it's so crazy how yeah. like. When you tired, your mind go mm-hmm. and like that yeah, monkey get on. Come yeah. on now. I done seen fights almost break out. I done <laughs> seen timeouts get called. I seen a lot, man. I seen a lot. You know, like I said, man, the big boys, you know, y'all going, <laughs> y'all battling with the big dudes up front. So I, I mean, I don't like I know a lot of pressure y'all got on, but yeah. like I done been a part of plenty of times, you know, but like <laughs> You get the call, you be like, all right, you looking at him dead in the face. All right, I got you. <laughs> it's the hey, what's the call again? <laughs> like, man, I just told you because you, you, you looked at me. Yeah, I saw it, you saw me. me. I know you got it. <laughs> so don't ask me again. The gap. Yeah. Things just tell him what it is. Hey, for real. Like, it got to the point yeah. where it's like, all right, like, you be like, what's the call? Man, just stay in the Just beach. line up. Just <laughs> line up. Man, just line up. I love yeah. it, man. I love yeah. it. You, you uh, mentioned, you know, your rookie year, obviously yeah. getting that, that green dot, yeah. so to speak. I got to ask you this. Mm-hmm. So me back your rookie season, mm-hmm. what was your welcome to the league moment, man? Mm-hmm. It gotta be a moment, game, practice, where either you got lit up or yeah. something crazy. You yeah. like, man, I'm just yeah. the league a little different. Yeah, man. Uh shoot. Now I was coming in the league, man. I uh I was a little smaller than most linebackers. So uh I remember uh it was a power play and I had to hammer the uh the guard coming around. Oh, the for pulling the, guard. The pulling guard, and that pulling guard was Carl Nix. I'm not sure you know about Carl Nix. Big mm-hmm. Yeah, big mean, car mean next, dude. Big mm. car next, 6'5", 350, if that. You know what I'm saying? He coming around. I see him coming. I'm, I see him coming like, God, I got to brace myself. It's training camp. I got to do something. And I just remember just bracing myself. And like I hit him and like my eyes closed. And like, like I think I did a good job, but I look on film. The gap guy. <laughs> I'm like, damn, man, that look bad, that look terrible. You can just see me flying out of there. I'm like, oh, that was one of my welcome to lead moments, man. And uh, shoot, yeah, I can't really think about anyone else besides that one because just me seeing him coming, how big he was, what was going through my mind, kind of like, you know, terrible. I was terrified. It's crazy because like football plays, like they're having so fast, yeah. but at the same time, it's kind of slow. Yeah, like, process. You, so yeah. like. You probably you probably have multiple thoughts yeah. like dang like should I break should I, should I yeah. run through it should I go yeah. around it like should, yeah. <laughs> and before you know yeah. boom that was the moment where I, I quickly said I'm gonna brace myself and do the best I can I'm I'm, <laughs> in, I'm, I'm, where, I'm where I'm supposed to be so I hope they live with that <laughs> oh, man let's it. talk about the game speed yeah. so you went from college yeah, yeah. to the league yeah. playing linebacker at a high level at right. both right what's the difference in game speed because I, yeah. I feel like me yeah. it probably was a little different yeah. when I play D line everything happened quick right but like at linebacker you got space yeah. you got time to yeah. second do things like that yeah I mean from from uh, college to the league, man, I remember in college, you know, I can I can use my speed, I can use my instincts to be able to make up a lot of stuff. But in the league, you know, you got to be able to know what you're doing too as well, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, especially at linebacker because one little, you know, six inches could mean mm-hmm. a lot. You know, people find that little gap, you yep. know, find that little crease and they, you know, can exploit you. So, you know, one thing I did have to learn was just hone in on what my job was and understanding, you know, who I'm working with in certain situations and things like that. So. I think uh, the speed of the game, you were able to get away with a lot of things when you were in college as far as, you know, playing uh, fast and having, using all that athleticism. But mm-hmm. once the lead come, it's a mental game too as well. Yep, that's very true. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's very, very true. Yeah. Definitely real, man. Yeah. So that's all about, you know, playing in the Super Bowl, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, the, the highest of heights, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? All kids who played football at any level, like that's the dream. Yeah, you you been there, you yeah. know what I mean. Yeah, talk about just that feeling, man, yeah. like just being in the game yeah. that whole week leading up to yeah. it. It's the whole process. I just got chills thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? I felt uh, it kind of bounced yeah. off you. <laughs> I just got chills thinking about it because it's, it's the simple fact that what I've been through throughout my whole career, and then that one moment you get there, you're like, damn, you kind of reflect. Mm-hmm. Had all those bad seasons, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Not even being talked about, you know, for the next season. You're like, oh, just writing us out and stuff like that, counting us out automatically. And then that year, when you get there, and then we played in our home stadium. Crazy. So, you know, when we was in the playoffs, I remember just leading up to it, they putting up all the Super Bowl stuff in the land. Like, you could just see the excitement in everybody's eyes. It's like, we got to get there. Yeah, we gotta get there, mm-hmm. you know. And uh, you just saw the the, the 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 focus level, the preparation level, where everybody else just rise up. Like, man, I, the Super Bowl is right there, and we deserve to be in it. That's how we that's how we looked at it. And then the week of, you just saw the confidence in everybody. 
everybody just having fun, everybody loose, everybody playing with swagger. Mm -hmm. And it was it was kind of crazy because obviously we was playing the Chiefs and the Chiefs killed us the first first time we played them, but we just felt like we we had enough to be able to, uh, to win the game. We had a great great game plan, and then uh, obviously you know walking to the stadium. It didn't feel like our home stadium. It didn't feel like our home stadium at all. The lights was brighter. Mm -hmm. The grass looked way better. <laughs> like everything looked, just looked so neat. Yeah. You know, when we walking through the tunnel, everything just was like, God, is this, is this Raymond James? You know what I'm saying? So it definitely was a wonderful feeling, a wonderful moment, man. And then just being out there on the field and you see all the, the lights flashing, mm -hmm. everybody cheering and it does. It, it gives you chills, and it's a feeling that you'll never forget. Nah, that's right. Y'all balled out on defense, yeah, too, man. Y'all was going that my home was crazy. I don't think I've yeah. ever seen since he's been yeah. in the league. I ain't seen no defense go at him <laughs> the way y'all did. Y'all yeah, was yeah. balling that yeah, game. Yeah, it, was, it was a great game plan put together by the coach. And, uh, yeah. you know, the good thing about us, we was hot going into that mm -hmm. game. So, guys was able to, you know, keep it rolling. And, uh, we had, you know, we had a, a good, good game plan, and we was very confident. Like, i never seen coaches instill confidence in a group ever in my life. I'm mm -hmm. like, the game, crazy, Coach Bowles, he was the coordinator. Yeah. We came in in the meeting, you know, how you meet in the morning mm -hmm. with the uh, game plan. He was like, all right, this is it. You remember what they did to us first week? I mean, first time we played them, remember that. And this is what we gonna do right here. You do this, you do that, we did that. Whenever they're in this, they're in this, they're like, everybody looking like, like, damn, you got that much confidence in us <laughs> like that? Like, let's rock then, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> nah, that's uh, yeah, yeah. And, then, uh, and it just, like, basically went like that, man. He basically just told D-line, hey, Y'all handle the front, back end, y'all handle everything else, let's rock. Man, mm -hmm. I love it. Simple, I love it simplest stuff Simple, is the yeah. best, man. <laughs> the best, yeah. Yeah, I feel like coaches always overcomplicate stuff, mm -hmm. and then we mm -hmm. end up getting shot in the foot because of the coaches overthinking yeah. stuff or over preparing and things like that. Yeah. yeah. So, man, that simple stuff, it definitely yeah. works, and you see success sure. through it. So, sure. yeah. man. It's, it's got to feel good, Sean. Obviously, you played Super Bowl as well. Mm -hmm. The Chiefs got y'all, unfortunately. <laughs> but your homeboy kind of got them back. It's kind of like payback a little yeah, bit. So, you got to feel a little better right here. <laughs> I don't know. We should have won. You know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, a little bang eight. You feel yeah, me? Like, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we take yeah, that away. Yeah, I yeah. got me one, too. He uh, probably, where, where you put your ring at? Where you put your ring uh, at? Your my finger? ring is on my right. Ring got you. Mm, got how, you. It's, like, it's like that big. How big is it? It's pretty big. Mm. It's pretty big. Yeah, I could barely close my hands. Like oh, oh, man. You could have had you on yeah, shell? Yeah, yeah. I was one play. Like, play seven seven minutes, 34 yeah. seconds. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Like, if you remember stuff like that, that hurt mm -hmm. you that bad. Yeah, man. You been watching on TV, I'm like, dang. I think a lot of people wanted y'all to win that game, too. Yeah, man. You was one of them. I was rooting for y'all because obviously my boy Quan was over there. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Shout out yeah. to that boy Quan. Yeah, real one, man. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Love it, bro. Love it. And I got to ask you this. Obviously, you know, Tom Brady to go. Yeah. He's officially now since retirement. Yeah. Second time, but it, I think this is official, official. <laughs> um, let's talk about what it's like playing mm -hmm. with Brady. A guy yeah. that literally been playing football dang near yeah. our whole lives. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, that experience, what was that yeah. like? So, you know, like I said earlier, man, you know, my first eight years of playing in the league, you know, it was, it was tough. Yeah. You know, only had probably one winning season. And, you know, it was, it was down. You know what I'm saying? And then when he walked in the building, everything just changed. You would just feel everybody energy just rise up and everybody want to and will just mm -hmm. change you know yeah. what i'm saying like yeah. because you got this guy who's a winner who knows how to get it done who's experiencing things that we want to experience coming to building and then he chose us you know right. what i'm saying like i remember when it's he different. when he uh got when he signed you know he reached out to everybody saying man like i'm i'm glad to be a part of it you wow. know, I remember he told me personally, you know, I'm like, I'm glad I get a chance to play with you now instead of going against you. You know, me, that I felt lovely. That had to feel good. Yeah, yeah, like, the you know GOAT just said that to yeah, me? Yeah, like, he personally called my phone. So I'm like, dang, like, this is crazy. It's really happening. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, once you get to training camp, you obviously meet him. You see the way he works. You see how he goes about his day. You see how he interacts with everybody, how he's cool with everybody. You know, and, and it's like, dang, like. I would think Tom Brady is an a hole, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I would think, you know, because he's a superstar. Yeah. Yep. Total opposite. Like a regular, regular dude, man, coming in with his jeans and his uh, little t shirt <laughs> every day to work. Hey, what's up, fellas? How y'all doing? Like yeah. stuff like that. So I'm like, dang. Like, yeah, man, this, this, this guy's somebody special. And, um, you know, definitely got, I uh, love, the, uh, love that I got a chance to play with him. Nah, for sure. Now, be real, man. The first time you met him, mm -hmm. were you, like, a little nervous to even, like, approach him or talk to him? Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. Because, like, it, it was surreal, man. Yeah, like, yeah. Tom Brady, like, I never see you leaving the Patriots. You know what I'm saying? And all the stuff he did over there. And mm -hmm. then, like, 
he walking in our locker room like, they don't tell him like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> That's what he is, yeah, bro. yeah, that, 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 that go tell him right there. And I'm a captain of the team. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Everybody look at me as a leader. I'm like, man. Hey, they go Tom. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, they go Tom. Like, what's up, Tom? I'm like, what's up, man? How you doing? Like, you know what I'm saying? That stuff like that kind of like goes a long way, especially for a guy like him. Yeah. You know, um, definitely was a, a, a crazy moment. I already know, man. Now, now one more real quick. Now, yeah. I, I work work with Shady McCoy. You know what I mean? Shout out to my guy Shady. Shady, yeah, Shady. He told me, uh -huh. I know we all know Brady. You know, he got the TV12 method. Like, yeah. he's locked in. Mm -hmm. I heard the man takes. Avo avocado shots. Yeah, he yeah, don't take yeah. like alcohol. Yeah. Like after he won the Super Bowl, yeah. he was taking avocado shot. Can you confirm that? Uh, <laughs> I didn't see it personally, <laughs> but from the images that I did see <laughs> and what I did see at the, the during the Super Bowl parade moment, yeah. there wasn't avocado. There wasn't avocado. Put avocado on that cover. Yeah, yeah. Love it. Love oh it. man. Yeah. So we we touched on football, yeah. but who is Levante? Off the, okay. Off the field, okay. Off the field, because yeah. like everybody always, oh, Levante the football player. Yeah, right. Who's Levante off the yeah, field? Yeah, it, it, it's crazy, man, that you say that, because you know a lot of people be like, like they meet me, they be like, dang, like this is you, like when you see you on the field, dog, you look a completely different person. I'm like, shoot, I, I hope I'm not the same person <laughs> off the field that I am on the field. You, know, yeah. you wouldn't like me, <laughs> but um, man, I'm uh, I'm chill, I'm laid back, I'm simple, you know, uh, you know, I just like, you know, chill. I'm a big family guy, you yeah. know. Uh, I grew up with both parents, mom and dad. You know, um, both of them passed away in a matter of years. Um, but I'm definitely family-oriented guy. You know, I like to just be around, be around love. You know, I have great energy. I love positivity, man. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I feel like that that goes a long way. And uh, I'm a guy who like to, you know, serve, give back, and uh, you know, you know, Jesus. You know, I always mm -hmm. go back to you know Bible. Jesus always. Talk about you know serving and being good to others and loving one another. Yeah. So I kind of like you know look at that uh, in my aspect of life. So definitely that type of person, man. And uh, you know I just love to you know have fun and be positive, man. Uh, I never think of nothing negative. You know I always you know feel like you know positivity and giving back and giving blessings always you get you receive them. Mm. Man, that's it's, real. No, that's that, that's, that's real. Deep. I think that's yeah. important, man. People yeah. watching it because yeah. I try to you know live my life the same way. Yeah, like we yeah. all go through stuff. Everybody yeah, gonna go everybody. through right. negative things, but right. your approach and how you react to that exactly kind of you know exactly. determines your, your mentality yeah. and how your life is yeah. gonna move. Yeah. Man. When so. I uh, when I left home to go to college, I realized you know a lot of people go through a lot of hard things. You mm -hmm. know, going to college, I went to junior college, and then uh, just figuring out you know where people come from, people backgrounds. You know, like you never know what a lot of people go through. Mm -hmm. So that's why I always try to be kind. And I get that part from my dad. He was always a dude who was just always happy. And just like always, you know, wondering, you know, how people doing, you know, reaching out, you know, just taking the extra step, making sure everybody is, you know, having a good day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you never know what people are going through. So that's what I always try to do. You know, me, like I put it, I take it, you know, from the football locker room to outside of football, I do the same thing. That's real, bro. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's real. Yeah. yeah. Not for sure. That's crazy. So mm -hmm. I know you have your foundation. Yeah. Can you touch on that? What, yeah. What's the what's the broader vision yeah. of, of your foundation? Foundation, Levante's Legends Foundation is basically based upon based on you know giving back to the youth, giving back to the community. Mm -hmm. You know, um, my, uh, my big picture is being able to provide you know scholarships for you know kids. Yeah. You know, back at home and in the city communities, not able to afford you know those type of uh, things to go to school and go to you know uh, colleges. Because I always go back to when I was in high school. I didn't take school as serious as I should have. Right, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I ended up going to junior college. I had to take the, the a tough route. So what I try to do is just, you know, um, implement to them like, hey man, it starts in high school. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if you're not, you know, fi financially capable, I could be the guy you can lean on. And that's mm -hmm. what I try to do through my uh, foundation. That's huge, bro. That's yeah. huge. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So many people don't, you know, yeah. have opportunity to even pay for pay for school. Even people yeah. who, who do well in school, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You yeah. get A's and B's. Yeah. You might not right. get that full round scholarship. Right. Right. But that's tough to do. And if you're yeah. not good in the sport or whatever, yeah. exactly. you can't earn that athletic scholarship. You're kind of in a, a, a tough position. Exactly. So exactly. Giving exactly. back, bro. That's huge. Yeah. The kids, exactly. they're the future. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Sure. So, you know, I always say that. I preach that. Yeah. I'm a uh, ambassador of Big Brothers, Big Sisters. So mm. I use that platform as well. You know, so. Definitely, uh, some I'm always, always, always about the youth. I got five nephews who I try to, who try to look up to me, but they mm. don't want to say, it. you know, how little yeah, nephews. Yeah, yeah. I know they look up to me, but I try to be a positive light for them. For sure. Man, mm. I, I think that's huge, man. Like, 
it's crazy because you know a lot of times people go to the league yeah. and we all know mm. players who kind of change up a little bit yeah. when the yeah. money come in. Yeah. Let's be real, you yeah. know. Yeah. But like you, this is my first time officially really meeting you. Mm-hmm. It's like you just as humble as as, as anybody else. If yeah. I didn't know you was yeah. in the league, yeah. I think you're just a you know average yeah. Joe. Yeah. And I think yeah. that it's just real that you right. know because. Unfortunately, everybody yeah. don't like that. Some people yeah. get the money and they act like they're bigger than yeah. other people and they yeah. can't give back. So, yeah. just you know, just shout out to you though. Yeah. And appreciate and, you it, know, bro. For, appreciate it, man. You know, I think that, like I said, man, I think that goes a long way. You know, I'm no different from nobody. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? We all go through things in life. We all take different routes in life, but at the same time, God look at us all us as one. So that's, that's what I try to be, try to do. It's a boring show. I ain't got, <laughs> I ain't got nothing to say. Sheesh. I got, I got one last <laughs> question. One last question. Oh. So you from Florida, right? Yeah. Born and raised. Are you sure? This Possibly. next question. This next yeah. question. Yeah. Matter of fact, I got two questions for you. Okay. Who, number one rapper from, from Florida. From Florida, okay. All, all time. All time. And who has the best football <laughs> high school? Ooh. I'm answer that second, that yeah. question, second question first. It's Florida. Hands Come down. on. Ah. It's hands down. That's not an argument. And then the best rapper from Florida all time. You can't, you can't go, you can't, you, you can't go wrong with Trick Daddy. Ah, I didn't want to say Trick Daddy. <laughs> you can't go wrong with Trick Daddy, man. Trick Daddy was the foundation of it. You know what nah, I'm saying? Nah, I feel you. I feel yeah. you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Trick Daddy was the foundation of it. I remember uh, he was making a little music video at uh, my high school that I went to, but I was like in middle school at the time or elementary. Yeah. And you know, elementary, you get out early. You know what I'm saying? You know the video going going on over there at the school. So me and my homeboys, you running over there after school trying to get in and get a little cameo or whatever. Yeah. So you know everybody was a big fan of Trick Daddy, man. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah. back to your first statement. Yeah. Are you 100% sure? You go? Are you go? Would you stand and die on that hill, I'm in Florida? A thousand percent sure. Florida football is hands down the top football factory in the country. You know what? He ain't never played uh, football in, in, in Naptown, yeah, cool. Indianapolis. Yeah, he, he would have came down there and got that work. <laughs> Real though. You know, with Florida football, the weather always good. Y'all don't worry about much. You ain't got to worry about much. It's hot, beautiful palm tree. Y'all don't know the conditions. Yeah. We in the snow, okay. the ice, okay. the hail, the rain, the whatever. That's not our fault. <laughs> <laughs> That's not our fault. You know what I'm saying? Like, I remember when I, you know, when I went to high school, we won the national championship. Mm. I never lost a game in high school. We went to Texas, played South Lake Carroll. Okay, right, okay. Yeah, they was that. like a hundred or something and over. Yeah. And who was their first loss? What happened? <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, man. All right. Love it. Yeah. Oh, love man. It, definitely. But nah, man. Appreciate you. Yeah. Appreciate you. Appreciate y'all, man. Hey, as a fan, yeah. as a friend, mm-hmm. like, I really respect this man for what he does. Appreciate you. On the field, but more so what he does off the field, man. Mm-hmm. And this is Players Day Off, and we tap in and see who people are off the field, man. Special, special guest, yeah. Super Bowl edition, man. <laughs> Players Day Off, checking out. I'm Sheldon Day. Darnell Smith. And the legend. The Bring that yeah, ring next time. Bring yeah. that ring next time, baby. I'm going to show it off. I'm going to show it off. <laughs> All right, y'all. Peace.